Hi, we are in Mexico, land of very friendly, very hardworking, nice people. And standing right next to me is the fence. Most people call it a wall, but this is a solid fence. It's not tin or anything. This is solid. I don't think you could get a tank through here. Look how high it is. So we're here in Mexico, um, my name's Clayton, and the lovely lady behind the camera that you can't see, unfortunately for you, is Teresa, and we rode our uh, gold wing about 3,000 kilometers to get here, and been back and forth from California back here, and um, we're in Los Alcadones, Los Alcadones. <laughs> The dentist capital of the world, pretty much, and I'm getting teeth done. She's getting teeth done, and then uh, off we go to uh, somewhere in California, and then back home. Meanwhile, uh, being here for a week, this is where we are staying. Now, this is kind of weird. Uh, with a That's what we're staying. It's actually a clinic, and they do uh, holiday um, medical trips, and you stay in the room. So what we're staying in essentially is a, um, a hospital room, and uh, so that's what we're here for a week. And uh, but that's for the the um, nomad monster people. Uh, the uh, Goldwing people, GL1800, uh, got some interesting stuff for you. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really good, uh, interesting tip for the uh, dual transmission, dual clutch transmission, and I think that should help. And so maybe we'll go over to the bike and uh, go over that, and I'll tell you what happened to me, not following my own rules, and meanwhile, also, the not the last video, but the video before, um, I think it's called Stranded. So this is kind of a follow-up to it because we planned. If you watch that video, you see we plan to head down here on uh, November, and uh, didn't make it because of weather. Watch the video; you get the information. And uh, so, instead of bringing the whole rig all the way down here. We just hopped on a brand new bike, and in three weeks or so, we're on 3,000 kilometers. So, we're traveling along the border here. Uh, okay, so we'll just go into pause, and then I will reappear magically. Okay. Okay, back to the bike. Um, to tell you earlier, this is a one shot deal. Uh, she can edit by pushing pause or go and that's it. I got no editing software or computer with me at all. So what you see is what you get and the other thing I want to mention is getting a lot of nice comments and I want to thank everybody that made comments in the last video. Awesome! And if you like what's happening here and you want to follow us, subscribe please. So really hot here so got the silver side out on the cover. Another unveiling. Oh, talk it. So there she be in all its glory, and it's dusty. Oh my god, it's dusty. How can I stand that? Okay, I'll show you what happened before and why I'm limping. So let's come around here. So, 
in the last video, as I rode out of the parking lot onto the street, I said, um, don't ever ride with your feet not on the pegs. Very dangerous. So what do I do? We're going from here to 29 Palms, one, two blocks away from the end of the trip. And I guess I'm getting a little careless, and if you get careless on a bike, you get dead. So, uh, not good. Anyway, what I did was, I came to a stoplight. Get you a little closer so you can hear me. I was trying to get your feet in there. Huh? I was trying to get your feet in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me go down. Um, yeah, I'm talking to the uh, city of photographer. That's the only way we can do the act. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I come through a light, right hand turn, stop the light, uh, and what I'm doing, and I'm not supposed to do, is ride the bike like this, with my feet dangling, and then I made a right turn, and of course the right turn, the lead, it leans, and it caught my toe on the pavement, and lifted my ankle that way and under the bike and that hurt. But I did manage to get the bike stabilized. It didn't I didn't drop it. So that's a good thing and I learned a lesson to pay attention to my own instructions because I know better. So we got more of that. Also found that if I get on the peg, I can get off a lot easier. The uh, bike, yeah, look here. In, I bought this bike March 10th, March 10th to April. I think it's the 8th. 8th. So a lot less than a month. So look at the odometer here. So 3,626 kilometers in less than a month. And it would have been more, but when I got the bike, it started raining and it rained for the first week. And that was it. So given that I don't have editing capabilities, uh, I've got notes. Notes are good. Um, okay, we're going to do the... Hmm. Okay, I was going to say something, comment about being in prison because I hurt my ankle and foot bad enough that I stayed in the room. This is Mexico. Huh. It is a beautiful country, beautiful people, lots of food, and I have to stay in my little prison room for the whole week to fix my foot. That hurts. Okay, now, I think we've pretty much had enough for the moment for this first trial, see how this works. So I will give you my tip of the day. I guess, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you a couple more things. Um, the uh, We're going to be doing videos on the road. So this goes into the trailer. Uh, into the uh, uh, Nomad Monster trailer, and it will be all hooked up in there. And we're on the road recording video, and then we can share that video with all the other stuff we're doing uh, on YouTube for your benefit. And I have here one camera, which is very hot right now. So that's a forward camera, and then back here camera to the back, camera to that side, camera to that side. So I got 360 all the way around without using a 360 camera. So that makes it a little bit clearer, I think. And in here, this is my video recording studio. So I've got two recorders and then I take the chip out of here on each one of them to get uh, uh, the video that I need and it's all hooked up permanent and then I can also go in there with Wi-Fi and pick up so then I can share that with 
Ito. Okay, now, according to my cinematographer, my pylon, uh, <laughs> when I had the Vulcan 900 um, take me off from a stop, Oops. I was much smoother doing that than riding this one. And the difference is this doesn't have a clutch which I've started to get used to and I really like the DCT transmission because initially I thought, forget it, it I, I switch automatically anyways. I don't even think about shifting, it's just do it after 50 years on a bike. But it did make a difference, so I'm glad I got it. But the problem is starting out. And you can feel the gear lash, uh, like when you have gears and they sort of fit in like that, there's room for them to move. If you have the good gear cuts, they're, they're rounded, so they all fit together and there's no lash, so they're expensive to make. So unfortunately, I think Honda didn't use the good gears, they just used straight cut, which A, are noisy, <coughs> and that was the worst thing about my uh, Vulcan, is you could hear the gears. Uh, they weren't grinding or anything, it was just the action of the gears, they made noise. And I could hear that first thing I pulled out on here. Okay, so what happens is if I try to accelerate, there's that gear lash and there's that momentary surge. So there's nothing and then boom, you got lots of power going to the wheel. And that could be a little disconcerting, especially if you're on a hill where the Ford runs forward and back. And my pylons go like that. So what I figured out, is you're on the bike and you have your always anyways you always have to have your right foot on the peg and on the brake so when you're taking off hard on the brake on the foot then accelerate raise the rpm of the engine and slowly off the brake then you get a nice smooth takeoff it's just like if you're going uh, slow corners, three figure eights in the parking lot or something, you use your rear brake and you can smooth out. <coughs> the brakes on this are coupled front and back, but still, in this instance, uh, a little bit of pressure on that will take up the gear uh, slack and you can take off and uh, be as smooth as I was on uh, in the manual transmission. So, that's it for today. If you can stand this one, please subscribe. Give me a like if uh, you do. No editing, as is. And uh, thank you for watching.